what's up YouTube it's your girl lens drop another video uh, if you don't know who I am um, I um, am trying to spread awareness for narcissistic abuse um, and just try to get that out there um, the the one thing that like I said in my last video the difference between my videos, I think I haven't come across any on YouTube, um, is that I'm still in it. I'm still considered a victim of a narcissistic abuse. I am in the process of trying to get him out. But also, like I said, trying to spread awareness to those who, um, you know, may be going through the same exact thing as me. You're not alone. Um, so, the topic I'm going to talk about today is silent treatment, where the narcissist acts like a little baby, but they don't get their way. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I try to be a good person, I truly do. Um, I'm honest, you know, I don't lie, um, I'm not saying I haven't lied in my life, um, you know, because we all have, but my main goal, okay, at the end of the day, is to know that I tried, I tried my very best to be the best person I can be, um, so if you have, uh, watched any of my previous videos uh, I made the video about going to um, officially uh, file for custody for my son now with that being said uh, as I said about being honest I'm not trying to be spiteful I'm not trying to you know screw anybody over especially him um, even though he doesn't give a shit about me, we know that they don't care about anyone but themselves. And I know I probably sound like a broken record, but I'm just saying it once again so that people really understand. Now, uh, I've been telling him for months now, um, that I am going to file for custody for our son. I never threatened to take his son away. Wait, wait, let me back up. I have maybe a couple of times out of anger, I have said, um, you know what? I'm just going to go for full custody and you won't see him and you don't deserve to see him. And with his past history with his other kids, he never made an effort anyway. So, um, but that was out of anger. I, I really didn't mean that. You know, because he has quite a history of taking me out of character. Now, as I said, um, I was honest with him because you know what? I just, I don't want to be that person that, you know, uh, that just like, you know, that is spiteful. Um, I was told that he was going to be served. Now, as you know, he's still in my apartment, which I'm trying to get him out. But his license, or well, I will not say license, his non-driver's license, okay, says his mom's address. So that's the address I put on the petition. Now, uh, I did ask the clerk, like, um, what happens if you can't find him to serve him? Will you go to his job to serve him? And she's like, well, maybe uh, if you um, if we can't get a hold of him before the court date or if the court date approaches and they still haven't, then maybe, possibly. But she did tell me he was going to be served. So me being, you know, trying to be honest and, and being the complete opposite of the narcissist because they don't know what honesty is they don't know how to do it what it looks like so last night 
um, I told him, I said, I'm just letting you know that I, uh, I did file for custody. Um, I filed for joint custody. It's not like I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to screw him over. Um, I filed for joint, well, I just filed for custody. Um, I, I don't know how this works. This is my first time going to court for this. Uh, I got lucky the first time with my daughter and her father. We are on excellent terms, which is unusual. However, um, so anyways, I told him that last night. Um, but I told him that what I'm going for is joint custody with me having primary residence. I don't think that's unfair. I don't think that's unreasonable. Now, he didn't seem to really react to it last night, which I was surprised. So this morning, um, you know, he was, he was acting uh, cordial. I guess you can say as cordial as a nurse's can be. Um, and I'm like, okay, all right, well, at least, you know, it's not going to be no bullshit today arguing. So, uh, I'm in my bedroom before the baby wakes up and I'm doing my makeup, getting ready for work. He knocks on my door, which I was surprised because normally he just barges in because they have no boundaries. They don't give a shit. And he says, so you really filed for custody with the court. And I said, I told you that last night. He's like, no, I just need a yes or no. Um, I said, yes, I did. He's like, all right, good. Well, you better get something better than a public defender because I'm, I'm getting a hold of my lawyer and you better believe it's, you better prepare for a fight. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Here we go with the threats and the intimidation, trying to scare me. I'm not scared. You don't intimidate me. I, I'm not worried at all. I'm a good mom and bottom line is I'm the primary caregiver. I take care of my son more than he does. Um, he'll tell you a different story, but he's gonna try to go in court and paint me as an unfit parent, which is, which is outrageous, okay? Um, now, so after he leaves this morning for work, right, um, I text him, even though I didn't have to do this, I could have just left it as is, but me just trying to get him to understand, which I'm still working on, because they don't care what you have to say, but I just had to say, you know what, uh, I don't understand, like, why all of a sudden you're making a big deal about it um, because I said I was filing for joint custody joint custody means that both parents equally okay have the right to make decisions about their child based on the best interest of their child so therefore um, it's not like I'm not including him it's not like I'm trying to take rights away from him never said I, I never said any of that okay so you know he comes back with yeah, you know what whatever um, typical response from a narcissist um, well you know what just get just get ready be prepared for a fight um, there's no way in hell that my son that you're gonna have primary residence of my son okay so, um, back to the subject with the silent treatment, which I haven't had, which he hasn't given me in a while, which I was surprised. But, um, anyway, so, he basically says, um, in the message, in a text message, that's when he sent me. Now, I'm asking you one time to just please leave me alone. Okay. That's cool with me. Less stress for me. Less, less bullshit I gotta worry about during the day while I'm trying to work. So, I get home, and don't you know, here we go with the silent treatment. He literally, 
when when I say you just walk past him, okay, I watched him close his eyes just so he like like a child, like a little child sitting there pouting. Having their arms crossed pouting, okay? Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, are you really, really serious right now? Because it's this is just outrageous, but I'm just letting you know what to expect, okay? I don't care. I don't regret anything. I it, that took a lot of courage for me to go to that courthouse and file that petition. I was my nerves were jumping out of my body. I was terrified, okay? Because I didn't want it to come to this. Um, however, I did it, and I'm damn proud of myself. I'm taking my power back. I'm done. With, like I said, I'm done with the bullshit. I'm done being manipulated and played with like a little toy. So, um, taking my power back. I'm glowing up. And my advice to you is, if you have children with a narcissist or toxic person, you're still in the relationship, I would strongly advise you to do the same. Go to the courthouse, file a petition. Um... <clears throat> Whether or not you want, you go for full joint shared. That's strictly, you know, that's your decision. Obviously, um, if I had it my way, I would go for full custody. But I'm just trying to be fair, okay? Even though he doesn't deserve that. But anyways, so here goes the silent treatment. We'll see how long that lasts for. As I said, I'm trying to just spread awareness to the people that, um, you know that may relate to this like I said hopefully you can't but you know this is mostly I think this content is mostly for people that are still in it and feel like they're stuck you're not stuck I mean you may feel stuck but you're not making one move one change one step at a time one day at a time take your power back okay take it back because if not he's the narcissist will keep walking all over you and using you and abusing you for whatever, you know, they could possibly, you know, get from you. Um, and by the way, a silent treatment is actually a form of abuse, uh, according to Lee Hammock and according to the research I've done. Um... I would say normally, so I've gotten used to the silent treatment, it has happened quite often over the past year, and it used to drive me up a wall, but now I actually, like, I started to enjoy it, you know what I mean? But it's still very uncomfortable, and um, so right now I'm, um, I'm going to stay at my mom's tonight, he's talking about, oh, I'm going to go to valley broke it it's a it's a scummy scummy um like uh rooms for rent by monthly so um i would just like i said um i don't care i don't care where he goes i don't care if he's homeless uh i just i want him out and um he's really i think he's really gonna go in and he's gonna make a fool out of himself in court because I am by far, okay, nothing, nothing but an amazing mom, okay? And I have, like I said, a daughter who will testify to that as, as well as her daughter's father. So, um, sorry, this one was a little long, but um, learn to enjoy the silent treatment um, because you know what? Nothing, they, they're just trying to hurt you with that. Don't let it drive you crazy. Don't, don't react. Just do what you gotta do, and um, do the best you can do day by day. That's all. And I'm um, I'm here to uh, to you know allow you guys in to follow me on my journey and and see how it's done. And um, so I will keep you updated. Um, and on that note, again. Um, if you like my content, my videos, please like, subscribe, share. Maybe share to somebody that you know you might know is in a in a unhealthy or toxic relationship.
and they may very well be with a narcissist and not know it so um, I'm hoping to help anybody you know whoever I can possibly help to get out of this situation because it only gets worse it never ever ever gets better because as you know they're never gonna change so on that note you have a great night and I will see you next time